Good morning, afternoon or evening to all you trainers throughout the world. I'm the Late Strict Trainer and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best way you can take down and catch the life Pokemon Xerneas. That's right, folks. We're all going to be able to finally get a life while playing Pokemon Go. That's a lie. It's going to be making its debut to the game on Tuesday the 4th of May, 10am local time, and it's going to be with us in Tier 5 raids until Monday 17th of May at 8pm local time, which is when Ivelta will arrive the morning after. I'm so excited for these Gen 6 legendaries to arrive, they've been near the top of the community's wishlist for a while now. We all knew that they were coming, but honestly I didn't expect to see them released until later in the year, so it's definitely a great surprise that they're coming to us this early. Xerneas is going to be a Pokemon you definitely want to get after during this time, not only is it going to be a super relevant Pokemon in terms of it, hopefully, taking the number one fairy attacker spot, it's also just a pretty fantastic and cool looking Pokemon too. So, to help you take it down in the most efficient way possible, we're going to take a look at Xerneas' stats, its weaknesses, the weather boost conditions, its movesets, and what Pokemon you're going to want to use going up against this beast. Let's take a look. So Xerneas, with a max EP of 4275, is going to be the first single fairy type legendary that we've come across in Pokemon Go, which means that it's only going to be boosted in one weather type, Cloudy Weather, which is going to boost a few of our counters at the same time. However, when we take a look at the movesets in a second, you'll see that with this Pokemon, we are going to potentially need to be wary of a few more weather conditions as well. The 100% IV CP for Xerneas, under all conditions except Cloudy, is going to be 2160, and when it's Cloudy, that 100 CP is going to jump right up to 2701. So make sure you take a note of and look out for those numbers. You don't want to be like this guy here who pulled a Hondo Landorus the other day from a raid and let it get away because he didn't realise what the Hondo CP was until he had five balls left that he still whiffed. Comment Lando Rip down below to send one prayer during these difficult times and share your story if you've lost a Hondo to the ether as well. Moving on to the weaknesses, with Xerneas being a pure fairy type, it's only going to have two weaknesses, poison and steel. It's going to double resist any dragon moves, single resist bug, dark and fighting attacks, which leaves neutral damage coming from electric, fairy, fire, flying, ghost, grass, ground, ice, normal, psychic, rock and water moves. Quite a few resistances there and that double dragon resistance pretty much nullifies any of the top meta dragon attackers from these raids. Quite often you see dragons still making their way into raids, even if they're not direct counters, just because of how powerful a lot of them are. But here that's flipped on its head a little bit. Lucky for us, there are still some really powerful poison and steel counters out there that are just itching to go rainbow deer hunting. Your poison moves are going to be getting boosted in cloudy weather, which is going to boost the Xerneas as well, remember, and your steel moves are going to be getting boosted in the snow. So, with all the stats and weaknesses covered, let's now take a look at all the potential moves Xerneas is going to come at you with, and there are some hard-hitting boys here. Let's see what it's got. So starting with the fast moves here, unfortunately Xerneas does not get a fairy type fast move, so for the time being we're going to have to deal with Tackle and Zen Headbutt. I was really hoping Charm was going to be in here, that would have made this Pokemon so overpowered. They might bring a new fast move in in a future raid day, but for now that lack of stab from the fast moves is probably going to affect Xerneas in terms of it being a dominant or at least top attacker. Moving on to the charge moves, Xerneas can have either Moonblast, Close Combat, Mega Horn, Giga Impact or Thunder. So all these moves are going to be one bar charges, which means they're going to hit pretty hard no matter what Pokemon you've got out. But of these moves in terms of which are going to bother our Steel and Poison types the most, Close Combat is going to be super effective against our Steel counters, unless it's got a second type and that will resist it, such as Metagross. But they are going to resist Tackle, Zen Headbutt, Moonblast, Megahorn and Giga Impact. Our Poison types are going to resist Megahorn and Moonblast, but they'll take neutral damage from the rest of Xerneas' moves, except for one which is the Zen Headbutt that's super effective against Poison. Tackle and Giga Impact are going to be getting boosted in partly cloudy weather. Zen Headbutt will be getting upped in windy weather. Moonblast and Close Combat are going to be more powerful in cloudy weather, which is also going to weather boost Xerneas too, which then leaves Mega Horn and Thunder getting boosted in the rain. So quite a few moves to break down there. Some will be more problematic than others, but after looking at what's going to resist what, I think you can already tell what sort of Pokemon we're going to be looking at using against this big boy. So let's get in those counters right now. Kicking it off with the Shadows, first up is a Pokemon that's not only going to be the top Shadow counter, but it's actually the number one counter in the entire game against Xerneas. Even beating out all the Megas. You won't tell what it is yet? It's that massive four-legged supercomputer, Shadow Metagross with Bullet Punch and the Meteor Mash Comde move. I don't usually overhype Shadow Pokemon that much because not everyone likes to power them up, but honestly, if you've caught a decent Shadow Beldum from Arlo, this one is going to be worth it. 
Shadow Metagross is an absolute beast and it'll definitely have more use than against just Xerneas. Moving down to position 6 is Shadow Scizor with Bullet Punch and Iron Head. In 7th it's Shadow Mewtwo with Confusion and Psy Strike. And then the last two shadows in the top 15 counters goes to Victory Bell in 14th using Acid and Sludge Bomb. And then finally Shadow Vileplume with Acid and Sludge Bomb again. Of these shadows I'd say if you have one definitely power up and use Shadow Metagross. Shadow Mewtwo maybe just because of how strong it actually is against nearly everything else in the game. But for the rest I'd say there's probably better counters out there that aren't going to be shadows that we're going to take a look at right now. So starting us off in this non-shadow counter list is going to be Mega Gengar in the top position with Lick and Sludge Bomb. Really strong Pokemon, not as strong as the Shadow Metagross, but remember, Mega Gengar is going to boost the power of any other poison attackers in the raid while it's out fighting, which is going to help you and your lobby take Xerneas down quicker. Up next in second position is the regular Metagross with that Bullet Punch Meteor Mash combo. This Pokemon is going to hit really hard, again not as hard as its Shadow counterpart, but still definitely one you're going to want to use. Third goes to Mega Beedrill with Poison Jab and Sludge Bomb. This Mega is also definitely a viable option to use if you don't have the energy to Mega Evolve your Gengar, but with 32 Faints it is quite a glassy Mega, so it's not going to have as much uptime boosting your friend's Pokemon as the Mega Gengar would. Coming in fourth is Dialga with Metal Claw and Iron Head, just be careful of that close combat charge move when using this big boy. And then in fifth and sixth place is Genesect and Burn Drive Genesect with Metal Claw and Magnet Bomb. Seventh goes to Excadrill using Metal Claw and Iron Head. Good Pokemon, definitely would recommend. Again, just be careful of that close combat though. And in 8th is Roserade with Poison Jab and Sludge Bomb. This Pokemon is going to be powerful and would do a lot of damage alongside a Mega Gengar boost in it, but just be wary, it is another pretty glassy counter. Regular Gengar comes in at 9th with Lick and Sludge Bomb, and then in spot 10 is a Pokemon we don't often see making its way out of the counter lists. It's Jirachi with Charge Beam and Doom Desire. Up next in spots 11, 12 and 13, we've got 3 Megas in a row, Mega Venusaur with Vine Whip Sludge Bomb, Mega Charizard Y with Fire Spin Blast Burn, and then Mega Pidgeot with Steel Wing and Brave Bird. These three Megas, I guess you could use them. Mega Venusaur will boost all your poison types, but if you can, I'd still stick with Mega Gengar, or at least Mega Beedrill over any of these three. And finally on this list, we've got Regigigas in 14th with the Steel Variant of Hidden Power and Giga Impact, and Mewtwo in 15th with Confusion and Psy Strike. If you'd like to take a look at the rest of the counters on this list, I'll put them on screen so you can pause here. Or if you want to take a look yourself, the link will be down in the description. Massive thanks to Poker Battler again for calculating and producing these counter stats. So a few key things to take away from this video to get you ready for Xerneas. It's going to make its debut to Pokemon Go on Tuesday May the 4th, be with you, and it's going to be in tier 5 raids until Monday the 17th of May at 8pm local time. The 100% IVCPs for Xerneas in all conditions except Cloudy is going to be 2160, and under cloudy weather boosted conditions, it's going to be 2701. To take it down, it's going to take three trainers absolute minimum, if they're all best friends and they all have maxed out counters, but I'd say about five to six trainers is a safe bet to take it down comfortably. The shiny is unfortunately not available this time around, as it's only just been added into the game. It will make its return with the shiny at some point in the future, I'm sure, but I mean, right now we're still waiting on Gen 4 legendaries like Dialga and Palkia to have their shiny release, so we most likely won't be getting the shiny anytime soon. And just remember to check that pre-raid lobby for what the auto part is recommending you, to try work out Xerneas' moveset. Although all of its moves are going to hit really hard anyway, you don't want to be throwing a load of steel counters in that raid if it's running close combat. It'll just wipe your team even quicker. But with your poison types resisting fight and moves, using them might help you stay in the fight a little longer. So guys, that is going to conclude this raid counter guide for Xerneas. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video has been helpful, a like would be massively appreciated, and let me know in the comments or over my Twitter at Lakes Trainer if you're excited for Xerneas coming, or are you more excited for Eveltal? Which one do you think is going to be more powerful, and how much are you going to get after both of them in the raids coming up? Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with all the latest Pokemon Go news and updates. If you want to see more videos like this where I break down the stats, moves, and counters for raids in Pokemon Go, get yourself subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.